Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Undesired Prescribed Podcast. I am Brown Sugar, and we today we're going to come up with a name for one of these episodes because I I, I called them like current events, but like that's just like a really stupid name, really basic name. So they they've got to be something that's unique. So um, that's got to be like current events. So like in my in my uh, car on my way home, I was thinking, what about something like um sugar or bs exclusives bf B, bs exclusives um brown sugar exclusiosos now that's too long it's got to be short and sweet so B, bs news bs news you know i think that's a really good one brown sugar news but like bullshit news so all right so welcome uh one and all to the first episode of bs news i am your anchor for this evening brown sugar otherwise known as the brown stallion jk i used to say that like back in um i want to say early high school because it wasn't middle school but it feels like middle school so definitely early high school i'd say that you guys um add me on pornhub um for i I, no, i would say go to www.pornhub.com forward slash the brown stallion and somebody actually did but there's no there's no account associated with that name so i don't i don't know if somebody's made an account since but i think that'd be a really good name to have on pornhub if you're like um a person of color and you're a porn star so if nobody's capitalized on that yet um somebody needs to but it definitely can't be me. But um, so on uh, the the this first um, first topic that we have coming up here on uh, BS News is I was out and about today. Um, I actually just got back from it. I went to United Coffee. So I was going to go earlier in the day. But I figured out today they extended their hours, which if you're not familiar with United Coffee, it's just a local coffee shop here where I live, Fort Wayne. Um, but they had they they were open from um, until five now, which before it was just three. So I was excited about that. So I took my sweet ass time. I didn't end up going to like four o'clock, but um, on my way there, I was like, I should also stop at the bank and deposit my tip money um into my bank account and i was pulling out i was waiting because there was somebody in front of me so i like pulled out my cash and was like oh i can probably just give them most of my ones and then not have to worry about depositing ones because i don't know for some fucking reason at the atm that i always go to i always have the worst fucking luck um depositing cash into that machine so i was like the less amount of bills the better so and then I started counting, and I was like, okay, it's probably going to be like four or five bucks if I include tax. Then um, I'd probably do like a $2 tip or something like that. But then I was like, oh, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I'll just give them the rest of my ones. And I thought I had like a, re- a lot, but I really didn't. And then I started thinking in my head. Uh, I was like, wait, is that a lot? So then I started counting it out. I was like, $9? And I was like... I mean, most of the people here know me, so, like, it's not going to be weird, I guess, or so. I was just thinking in my head, it's like, like, it gives them a nice tip, and I get rid of my ones. But, so this place is um, owned and run by this really, really cute um, husband and wife duo. Um, I love them so much, and I hardly know them. One of them, the, the wife, one of them, the wife recently became uh, a citizen of the united states so yay they uh i thought it was really cute i think they they closed down last friday i believe because she was becoming a citizen and that that is just like the best thing ever hello cat cat just um jumped up on my chair she's sitting like right behind me um and it was the husband that was um who took my order he answered the drive through window, and he was, like, I think he, I, I think he recognizes me. Like, most of them know me. I'm pretty sure he's one of them, too. I know the wife knows me. The wife knows me by name, and then one of the workers, 
the wife knows me by name and my order and then one of the workers knows my name and my order and then i think the other two just recognize me because um i i used to go in there like weekly like inside and be there for a couple hours with like a friend or various friends and i now i just try to go through like the drive through every once in a while but so it was him it was the husband and i just gave him like it was like five dollars or something like that and i just dumped my whole amount of ones in there and he said thank you very much like i it, he could tell that like it was like like there was extra in there for a tip and then he walked over and said hey jared uh this is a uh, nine this is nine dollars you know you give me nine dollars right and i was like yeah and he was like eh. And he shot like a little back and forth, you know, he's like a little, little hesitant to, not hesitant, but he's just like, just making sure it was okay. He's like, are you rich? I said yes at first. And I was like, wait, no, I'm not. Why am I, what? I, I don't know. I just thought he wasn't going to ask that. And then I was like, no, no, I'm not rich. But like, I, like, I, I can give you a $9 tip. Like I said, and it, it benefits two of us because this tip money that I get from Cold Stone, it's just like icing on top of the cake because I get like, like hourly plus like tips untaxed tips at that too so don't tell the irs um and then so he was just double checking and all that stuff and then he proceeds to bring me my drink and then he's like are you no 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 no. he didn't even bring my drink the the wife did but he he came over and double checked again he was like are you sure you don't want any of this back at all i was like no like you're good you're good you're good um, and then he told me, I don't think this was the last thing that he said to me, but he said, I hope this comes back to you like 10 times. And I was like, me too, me too, <laughs> me too. But like, here, here's my thing about it. It's like, I, I don't really f felt, I didn't feel all that charitable or all that nice. Um, because I, I felt like I was just like dumping off like my unnecessary amount of money. Like, I don't know. I don't particularly like, don't get me wrong. Like it felt nice to like tip somebody like money in like a decent amount because it's somebody that like, you know, like checks people out and then like accepts tips and stuff like that. It feels, it feels great when somebody tips like well over than what they probably should because I'm okay. I'm happy with like a one or $2 tip. Like I feel like that's fair. And if people do like three or four, then I'm like, okay, all right. I love you. Five dollars, like we can we can fuck. Yeah, like all you have to do, ask me to the bathroom. Five dollars, of course. Now, and, and anything above that, like I don't even care how much the order is. Like the order could be like thirty four dollars. Like, and I'm still okay with like a two dollar tip. Like I still feel fine with that. Um, but five dollars, yeah, and above. Oh my god, I will say. Back when I worked there a lot at Cold Stone, um, the best days were Sunday mornings because it was just me and it'd get really busy on Sunday mornings. Like I have a line to the door, stuff like that. Even though like when it was just me on these Sundays mornings, it was like uh, it, it it wasn't like cold out. It, it was like fall, but like it wasn't like cold fall, but it wasn't like warm like August, September. But um and I got, like, hella tips. Like, I got so many $20 tips because people just feel so bad for you. And I was like, dude, this is, like, the best time. I think the most I ever walked out of a cold stone with in tips was, like, $51. $51. So. And I didn't even work, like, an eight-hour shift either. So I enjoyed that very much, very much. Um, very off topic, but um, that's BS news for you. Uh, um, so I finally get my drink the wife says thank you and goodbye so but like again going back to the this the charity part like i don't feel all that charitable i don't feel i don't feel all that warm and happy like i feel like i i don't know like i i feel like i'm not superman even though a lot of people in my shoes would be on here bragging about yeah i gave somebody a nine dollar tip now, the only reason, and I'm not bragging about this either. I literally brought this up because I was like, do you, do you guys share, like, the same thoughts and feelings on this as I do? It's like, I shouldn't feel as charitable. <laughs> um, 
as as I do. So um, that's just, that was just my thoughts about it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, and uh, um, our next story on uh, BS News is how the fucking Los Angeles Clippers fucked my parlay up. So, um, I totally forgot that I won, like, $200, like, on, on Bet MGM on, like, this really easy parlay, um, and I just had, like, money sitting in this account, so I just started, like, betting, like, doing, like, a bunch of parlays, um, NBA playoffs started, and, like, doing, like, $10 bets and stuff like that, because I'm, like, like, I, it's just, at this point, it's not my money, it's, like, I have, like, $200 to spend, and I'm, like, whoa, why didn't you just pull it out, and I was just, like, I don't know, like, should I have? Probably, but I didn't. Anyways, so, um, last night was by far, because I'd just been picking, um, favorite, I mean, I'd picked too many, I tried it, like, earlier, when I first got back into it, like, the most recently, definitely did way too many underdogs, like, oh, I just have a feeling, because that fucked me over a little bit, but, and voting on the Indiana, betting on the Indiana Pacers, fucking sluts. Um, but last night the Clippers really fucked me up. Um, I had Lakers, Nets, Clippers. Uh, I just bet the money lines on those. I that's, I usually just stick with money lines because I feel like for me it's the safest. Um, I, I, at least in basketball, over unders like, um, or the plus or minus two. I I don't know. I feel like that's just way too hard for it, at least for me. It's too hard to predict. In football, for me, I feel like I have like a better understanding of it. But like, I feel like in the NBA, it's way way more sporadic, and like you don't know what's going to prevail um, that night, uh, whether it's be defense or way more offense. Like I really don't know. But um, so I did a I did a free parlay because I've been betting so much. They started giving me some free bets, so I did a free parlay. Um, tonight I would have, I took the, the Knicks to, to win, um, Sixers, and I think the other one is for a Thursday game, um, wait, oh, I th and I took the Jazz to win too, cause I, I, I don't know, like they, I feel like, oh, Donovan Mitchell is ready to go, so yeah, that's that's why I bet on the Jazz. But on I had a I took another free parlay, uh, another free bet, and I did a parlay of um, the Grizzlies somehow upsetting again. I, mean, I don't think they're a bad team, and also the Heat upsetting, um, which they're only minus um, like uh, one hundred five anyways. So I I think. I, I don't think that the Heat would get would get swept after going to the finals with virtually like the same team as last year. Like they'll definitely get a, um, a game out of them, and I'd probably say uh, go to six games. But um, yeah, but but Clippers last night really fucked me over because I was definitely going to win that. But they just they just suck, man. Um, I don't know why they would get rid of Doc Rivers um, at all. Um, it's crazy. So I watched Colin Coward a lot, and I think he made a really good point about how uh, Talk Rivers got fired from the Clippers because you know, like their their playoff meltdown was his fault, and he's now the one seed in the East, um, the number one seed in the East, and has an MVP caliber, uh, a, a top three MVP. Um, discussion and also he like seamlessly ended whatever um, beef there was between um, Joel and Ben Simmons and th th it's crazy to that because he's so right so I, I don't know like I can't imagine them losing the series but if they if they lose the series that team's getting blown up like it like Paul George will be gone for sure um, because there's no way they're going to run it back again. Um, but I really feel like everything's going to be changed up. Like, and it's going to be real bad too. Unfortunately, um, if that if they lose this series, like it's a guarantee. And depending on how far they go in this playoffs and like how how it ends, they probably 
I I don't. Th- it just depends on the ending for them. I think if they once they make it out of the first round on if they blow the team up or not. But I don't know. I kind of I kind of hope they do because I really like Kawhi Leonard as a player and um, I think he is like one of the most clutch players in the NBA right now. Um, obviously, like my, my list would go uh, no specific order. My top five is going to be LeBron, Steph, KD. I put. Um, Kawhi up there as well. Um, who who would be my my fifth guy? Dame, fucking Dame. Yeah, obviously Dame. But I I think Kawhi is very clutch. But I I, I don't know what what's going on in L A. Because their roster, I wouldn't say it's. I don't know. I feel like it's like on par of what it was last year. Because I remember last year they had like a really deep team. So I'd say their team last year was better looking at this, but um, they had a really deep team last year, and they didn't do too much. But, like, last night, I, I don't even it, – it looks like everybody just sucked, like, unless your name was Paul George or Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard literally had 41. Paul George had 28 and 12. Like, the – and, like, nobody else was in double figures. Oh, like, uh, Reggie Jackson had 15 points, but still – um clippers figure your shit out until until you figure your shit out no more no more bets on you no more bets on you cost me like 20 bucks already you sons of bitches so that that's just my two cents about um the los angeles clippers i'm not going to make this bs news all about nba talk but and in other um bs news I had something, but I don't quite remember what it was. Give me a second to gather my thoughts. And for our final story tonight, um, this is big. I can't believe I I actually had to try to remember this. But um, so um, for some episodes that I want to do, <coughs> excuse me, um, coming up are going to be I want. So I guess let me start with some backstory. So I wrote a book. And it's called, I, I spoke about this on my uh, teacher's episode, um, A Very Dairy Night of Horror. So th- this is the book that I wrote uh, last year. And it is about, uh, it's, a, it's a murder mystery horror uh, novel that hasn't been edited and definitely has a shit ton of grammatical errors. All right, so... Um, it involves myself, obviously, um, and then um, a good portion of my workers and co-workers um, at the time from last year when I worked at Dairy Queen. And what I want to do is um, have a have a read aloud. So this is um, this is an open invitation. For anybody that wants to come on and do the read aloud, obviously, I, I wouldn't read the whole, we wouldn't read the whole thing in uh, in one episode because there, there, there's three acts. Like this is this is like a, a beautiful masterpiece, a beautiful masterpiece. So we can do it one act at a time, but this is an open invitation. For anybody that wants to come on and, and and read it with me, like this, th- this is like big breaking news. Keemstar is going to talk about this on the next episode of Drama Alert. <laughs> um, but uh, especially any of my friends that were um, in the story, because you can come on and you can do your own part. And I, I would truly enjoy the opportunity to um, get get us on. I'll, I'll print scripts out. Um, I'll, I'll like, I'll uh, grammar tra- uh, check it this time. I'll put it on Grammarly or whatever. That way, it's not a pain for my actors and actresses to read. So. I, I, it's happening. I don't know when, but we'll we're going to get this going. We're going to get Act One out. We'll get Act Two out, and we'll get the amazing Act Three out. And then 
fuck, maybe maybe it'll inspire me to write another story. I've been wanting to write another story, but I don't know. It's just, I need the time, all right? Not the time, but, like, I need, I need that spark of creativity, all right? And I probably would need another lockdown, too. I guess I, I think I started that before the lockdown. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. So, um, big breaking news on BS News. So, uh, guys, um, thank you so much for listening to my insane ramblings. And I hope you enjoyed this um, special newscast of Brown Sugar News at 5. I would like to thank my producer, which is me. And I would like to say thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next UP. Take care.